Hello everyone, this is Agent Rox and today I'm gonna show you the review of Acer Aspire 5 and I want to share also my criteria on buying a laptop. I unboxed this Acer Aspire 5 on my previous content and if you didn't watch it yet guys, you can recheck it on my video. <music> Now let's go guys to the criteria that I considered on buying a laptop. The number one is the size. 
when it comes to laptop size is matter depending on what you plan to be doing with your laptop and for me this 14 14 inches is the size that fits for me because portability is my priority now because i've been eight years carrying my heavy 15.6 laptop before Next thing to consider is the screen quality. For this, we need to consider the screen that is comfortable to look at and feels natural to use. The resolution is important to look up uh, 1920 by 1080 pixel full HD should be considered the minimum. There's a new offer for K resolutions but surely it would generally a costly add on to an already expensive product number three is the keyboard quality make sure guys that the keyboard is has a backlit keys because it makes you much easier to see what you are typing in a dimly lit especially at night number four is the cpu for many users an intel core processor processor offer the best performance when it comes to multitasking and multimedia tasks. Core i7 based systems are for those of you who want the best performance from your laptop but there are some larger laptops also now incorporate core i9 processors but I'm sure they do come with a significantly higher cost than a laptop with an i7 or i5 i3 core processor next thing to consider is the ram these days you will probably want 8 gb as a minimum if you are Power user, 16GB is the way to go and gamers should look on to 32GB or beyond if they want the best experience. The most recent genera um, generation of RAM today is the hardware. Uh, hardware RAM is DDR4 because the more RAM allows for more applications to be run at the same time and for more data to be quickly accessible by the system at any one time which comes in handy for tasks such as editing photos or video content. Next is the storage. If you are buying a new laptop guys, please consider the SSD or the solid state drive because it offers a lot more speed than a hard drive and runs silently and can be installed in a form factor that doesn't add too much to the, um, to the weight and bulk of a laptop. Please stick to an SSD for your laptop and you will love the speed of uh, with which it can load programs, access data, and also how quickly it can boot up your systems. Next is the battery life. This Acer Aspire 5 is the maximum battery runtime is 10 hours, so I love it, guys. And the next is the USB 3.0. USB 3.0 is about 10 times faster than the USB 2.0. This means that data transfers over USB 3.0 take significantly less time.
The last thing is the biometric security. Fingerprint readers are great for logging into the latest Windows 10 because people can guess your password but few can fake your fingerprint. Alright guys, this is it for the review and if you found this video helpful for you, please give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and comment down below. And if you didn't subscribe yet, yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to update with my new upload videos. Thank you guys, bye!